The news, we knew that Johnny Manziel was hurt. We didn't know that he was uh, he was not too hurt to party, and, and he threw down in a big way. I first reported <laughs> by CBS Sports on Friday night. So many teammates showed up to this thing, it affected who showed up on time the next day, including Johnny Manziel. So, guys, how surprised should we be, considering what we knew about Johnny Manziel before all this, and now what's happened? Well, I don't think anybody should be shocked. If you do your work prior to the draft, you don't just study a guy's a football skill set, his physical skill set. You know, what kind of character is, what kind of character does he have? How has he been in high school? You know, if you, uh, if you ever heard about him being a redshirt freshman, you know, keep in mind, the offense that he was under as redshirt freshman was very similar to what he was going to in Cleveland. And investigating and talking to him, coaches trying to find out what did he learn during that process, his response is, I didn't learn anything. I wasn't going to play. Now, right there tells you everything about him. <laughs> everything about him. This is very simple if you're the Cleveland Browns. You cut bait right now. You cut bait and you move on, period. Do not drag this into another year. It's just like Josh Gordon. 22nd overall pick and you just say, see you later. Cut bait now and move on. This is not going in the direction that you need to go. There's not even signs that it's going in the right direction. If the Cleveland Browns were smart, they would cut bait, they would move on. I'm still gonna go back to whoever made this choice needs to be evaluated. If they're the guys evaluating your talent and bringing these people in, you need to reassess that and fire that guy and get somebody else who knows how to evaluate talent to bring them in. What he said, are you cutting uh, Absolutely, what he said. I, I mean, Merrill knocked it out of the park, uh, I think. There are obvious issues with his game and how it doesn't translate to the national football. That's on the field. That's absolutely on the field. I don't believe the work ethic is there. I don't believe the skill set is there. But the same questions we had about Johnny in college, we now have in the NFL. And that doesn't fly in this league. And you have to not only be a leader, but you have to be someone that sets an example with regard to your work ethic. And obviously, Johnny's not willing at this particular time to uh, put the work in, especially mm -hmm. at that position. At yeah. that level in the yeah. What's all to say? Yeah. Listen, you are a professional. You're a professional. It's, it's in the definition yeah. of that word. And you are now accountable and responsible at a higher degree than you ever have been. And he has no idea what that's about. And it's not a babysitting league. You cut bait, you move on, mm. period.